morning guys and welcome back to our channel it is pretty early we are up we've been getting up around like eight ish um and getting ready for the day so i thought i'd walk you guys along with us what our days have kind of looked like since we've been quarantined and um just trying to self-isolate so much fun but the kids um i'm just gonna put some lights on so the kids i don't think are going back to school anytime soon they haven't given us an exact like timeline or anything, but I'm just assuming probably not until September. Um, so I think they are going to be implementing some kind of curriculum for you to do with your kids. But I had a feeling this was going to happen, so I kind of took matters into my own hands kind of ahead of time. because, not, like, Not because I wanted to be like, oh, look at me. It was more so we were all struggling without having a routine. We were wearing pajamas all day. We were just feeling like not like we're getting anything done. So they actually asked me if I could homeschool them. I was like, you know what, why don't we just try it? We'll make a little schedule, have a little routine and see how it goes. So today is the third day and it is going great. <laughs> Obviously it's pretty early, but I can already tell um, that if we stick to this, it'll be good. So I thought I'd show you guys kind of what we're doing. Um, if you're following me on Instagram, you can kind of see a little bit more like as it's happening. Um, but so far we made a little chore chart and it's not really chores. It's kind of just more so to like establish a routine. Um, so I'll show you guys, but they have things that they need to do every single day and then they get to check it off. And then by the end of the week, if they do everything that they were supposed to, they get points and then we'll figure out what the points, um, mean. And then we made like a school schedule. So they have to be at the table at school by 9 30 so they usually wake up around 8 and then they have like an hour and a half to do all their little morning chores get ready make their bed brush their teeth well eat breakfast brush their teeth do their hair and just get ready for the day and then um 9 30 they sit at the table and they do their journals and uh we made little journals i'll show you guys and so every day they've been writing in those and drawing a picture and some of them are so cute i'll have to show you cohen's and sophia's from yesterday it was adorable and um then they do like a school work so last summer i bought them like curriculum books from costco and we never had the chance to do them because we moved and we just were so busy that i pulled them out and was like you know what better late than never so that's what we've been working on they're all in their grade level right now so it works out good um so we do like a few pages of that and then sophia and cohen do their kumon and then they have recess and then um, I'll kind of take you guys along with what, everything else we do. But we do have an activity that we do every day. And today's activity we've been waiting for, quiet please, is we're making homemade Play-Doh. So they're very excited about that. Sorry, the lighting's gonna change in every room. But we set up this little, um, we had this in our office at the old house downstairs. This little like bulletin, it's actually from our wedding. Um, so we put that up above. I cannot wait to paint this room. Maybe one day. But we set that up here. And then, oh, this is kind of, wait. Okay, so this is what they look like. They're all the same. They just decorated them a little bit differently. And it basically gives them the chores that they need to do every single day. So they make bed, get dressed, brush teeth, do hair. Um, all that before school starts. And then, not every day do they take a bath. But I guess they've just been checking it. But they do it pretty much every other day. Um, so I'm going to have to tell them not to check it when they don't do it. So that I know what days they've taken a bath. They do their homework every single day. Tidy their room. Put laundry away. They have a weekly chore and then they read a book. This is the activities for the week. I forgot to write on here we're doing um, an air hockey tournament on Sunday. So yeah, Monday we decorated the chore charts. Tuesday we decorated the journals. Yesterday we had a picnic and outdoor games. Today we're making homemade play-doh. Tomorrow we're doing kiwi crates. And Saturday we're doing Legos. And then this is our little menu for dinner. It just helps everyone know what we're gonna eat for dinner. So we're at the table right now. And these are their little journals that they decorated on Tuesday. And then let's see your journal from yesterday. That's Grayson's and then this is what you did today. Oh, you only do one sheet a day, okay? So next time don't go to the next page. You do it all on one paper. Okay. How's yours going over here, Nolan? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's can't Sophia's see. journal. I can't see. It's on your... <gasps> Let's see your first page. It was so cute. Yeah. Really? You want to pause and read that? You did such a good job. This is not my first page. Oh, no. You know what? I made that one. Wait, you did the one. Yeah. Because people are going outside the window. I thought so. And then here's Cohen's journal. Let's see your first page. He did so good. How cute is that? 
Everybody's doing such a good job. Then these are their books. They have it in their little folders. So, are we almost done our journals? So that we can get to our work. So I am doing pretty good. Look, I find it fun to have them home and be doing work with them. The only thing I'm finding is I'm finding it hard to juggle at all. And honestly, the house has just been like last priority because by the time Brad's still working, so by the time he gets home, I'm made dinner and like trying to clean up dinner and I'm just pooped by then. Like by six o'clock, I'm just done. Whereas I would get all the house stuff done during the day when they were at school, so it's just, Got dishes in my sink. I gotta unload the dishwasher. I have to do laundry like crazy today because I have so much laundry. But other than that, we're doing fine. We're making it through. So we're gonna finish up these journals. Nolan and Grayson seem to be doing their workbooks already. Sophia, are you done your journal? No, I forgot to cover it. Oh. Okay, and then I'll correct hers. Nolan, what are you doing here, kid? Nothing. Mm. I leave the TV on, I'm done with your sad eyes I can take another night with you on like this So let's go, I'm sure you can take it You've been crying over him for a lifetime So if you don't mind, we will dance till it's way past sleep Another cause that we can fly with I, my camera card was full so I don't know if you've fully seen but it's a little bit hard to juggle all of them doing their schoolwork at one time because typically they all have a question at the same time so I'm literally running around the table like okay give me a minute give me a minute so it does make things last a little bit longer like they could get it done a little bit faster if there was more of me but we just do the best we can um, I was going to like switch off but that didn't really work either we tried that so we're just gonna do it this way um, it works out fine for the most part they can do most of it on their own it's just they might have like a couple questions but anyways it's 10 30 they go outside till 11 and then when they come back in they do stations and they kind of switch every 30 minutes so they do one station for 30 minutes so the two that did one station yesterday are swapping for today's station if that makes sense so I'll show you guys that when they come in so it gives me a half hour I'm gonna finish my coffee and I have to clean up the kitchen a little bit and start some laundry that card was full so hopefully I deleted enough stuff off of this card but anyways I have to tidy up the kitchen like I said um and we do school it's like really loosely it's not like super structured it's structured but not like I don't know it's still fun like they enjoy it it's not like it's just honestly they were just sitting and watching a lot of TV and their iPads and I was like we have to do something to stop that so this is what's really working for us. So Sophia is doing, I forget what it's called, do you remember what it's called? Academy something. Something Academy, Learning Academy, something like that. Me and Nolan are going to go into the other room and read. Grayson is doing a coloring station. Usually I set up the kids if they're a little bit older, obviously Grayson's a little bit younger, with an iPad tutorial on YouTube to color or to draw a picture. So yesterday I'll show you guys what Sophia did. And then Cohen station is Osmo coding. So educational, fun, just, and then we switch after 30 minutes. So this is what Sophia did in her little YouTube tutorial yesterday. How cute is that? It turned out so good. I let them stay out a little bit longer today for recess. A, because it's beautiful. And B, because Cohen took his Kumon outside and was doing his Kumon. So we didn't really get a chance to play too long. So I gave him actually like 10, 15 minutes. This that? Yeah. Because like this so solid. Okay, so Nolan picked some French books out today, which is good. Two French books? Two French books. So let's see what it says. What color is this? Um, yellow. It's actually, well, what color is this? Orange. How did you say that in French? <coughs> what did you say? Orange. Yep. A star. In, in a French. Tri a a twelve. A twelve. good job. <laughs> An F? F, yeah. A photo. A <laughs> photo. And that toe. 
But it looks like a boat. <laughs> it looks like a boat? <laughs> Why are you so cute? <laughs> How did you do it in French? It says, hey, you back. No, Nolan, back up. It says, quelle est la forme du chapeau de ma? What, sh what shape is that? <laughs> Show me what you worked on. It's beautiful. Yeah, that I worked on it hard. You spent a lot of time on that, I see. It's beautiful. Now I'm putting all these tiles. Good job, Grayson. Cohen's all done doing his coating. Me and Nolan Red. And now we're going to do a switch before. I'm good. So I let her stay on that. I think we're going to have this station just be for the whole day. And then we'll switch that. Um, Nolan is coloring. Grayson is doing Mommy, this is coding. So it's a little hard to code. Yeah. <laughs> and let's look at your beautiful picture, Nolan. Good job. And now Cohen's going to read me his book from school. Come on, Cohen. And then we're going to make lunch. And then after lunch, they play outside again for about a half hour. Um, so lunch is from like 12 to 12.30. Recess is 12.30 to 1. And then we do an activity. And then we do quiet time, finish chores, and then done for the day. So that's kind of how our days have been going. And it's worked out really well. His teacher sent him home some books, so we're going to practice those. You don't have to do one today. She said to read twice a week, and you're going to read every day, so that's pretty good, huh? Everybody's eating lunch. How is it? Just bagels and fruit. Still playing. I'm gonna take my lunch because I'm starving. So this is my lunch. I have an everything bagel with avocado, an egg, cheese, bacon, tomato, salt and pepper. And I'm so hungry. I've been playing on the iPad this whole recess. You didn't feel like going outside? I don't want to. No, that's okay. Did you have fun? Yeah. It's almost time to do our activity. Are you excited? A rabbit! Because you're a rabbit scientist. Good job. Do you want to do our activity now? Our daily activity? Do you want to make Play Doh? No. Hey! You're a fibber. <laughs> Tanner, do you want to go outside? Is, are you trying to tell me something? <laughs> do, you, do you want something? Do you, do you want something? What, what is it you want? Tell me. What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> okay, come on. I know. I know what you want. I'm just joking. So I kind of messed up and I don't have everything I need. When I ordered my groceries, they gave me a way smaller thing of flour than they were supposed to. So I knew I wasn't going to have enough, but I also don't have like a box of salt. So come on, Tanner. We're going to run to the store. My mom's going to follow us in her car and just watch the kids through the window so I can run to the grocery store. I don't want to bring my kids into any store. They constantly are touching things that they don't need to. So it would just not be good. So I'm going to run in, bring my hand sanitizer, grab what I need. Maybe I'll grab a little bit of strawberries because we're almost out of milk and strawberries. Just try to avoid the store as much as I can. I think I have enough stuff for groceries for like the next week but we're almost out of fruit, so I will maybe grab a little bit of that. So we're gonna go get that, and then it's gonna throw off our day a little bit, but it is what it is. At least I have the option that my mom's gonna help me go because like I said, Brad's working, so I don't really have any other help besides my mother, and we're not even trying to see her right now, so we're just gonna see her through the car window. Okay, so this is what I got. I got a bag of chips. Can I go put this in the pantry for you? For the kiddos. Thank you. Then I got a big thing of Fruit Loops, two things of strawberries, another thing of this just in case. I have one, but I don't know how much I'm making, so I thought just to have two. Um, I got some nectarines, some grapes. We were almost out of and fruit, you need so. Some strawberries. And we got some strawberries, and we got salt. This is the only salt I could find, and they were out of flour. I had to go run to a different you store. Need strawberries? No, we don't need strawberries to make that. <laughs> and then I got beans for dinner tonight because we ate them all yesterday, so. Really quickly ran in, got a few things, and now we're going to make our Play-Doh, but we don't need to. So we're making the first color. I'll quickly tell you guys what we put in in case you were wondering the recipe you're following. We have one cup of flour, um, 
two tablespoons of everything else, I think. So two tablespoons salt, two tablespoons cream of tartar, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, one cup of warm water, and then a packet of Jello. Um, and then apparently you cook it on medium heat until it kind of forms into a clump. And then I guess you add a little bit more flour, like half a cup, just when you're like moving it with your hands. So we'll see how this goes. And I've done this before a long time ago, but this, not this exact recipe. This time, so you gotta mix raspberry. it around. This is raspberry. Mm-hmm. Gotta make sure it's all. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Those are scaring me. Come on, that's too close. How's it feel? Mine. Nice. Is it hot? Is it feel like Play Doh? Yeah. You can't see. It's not sticking. Mm-hmm. You have to do one. Okay, so now you do two tablespoons of the salt. Where's the tablespoons? No way. Play-Doh was a success. It was a lot of work because you had to make like however many colors you wanted different batches. So we ended up not making the purple. So I think, how many did we make? Five colors? Mommy, this Five. Is That's okay. Just try not to get everywhere. So this is the here. Let me fix the lighting. That's a little better. So there's the red, the orange, the green, the yellow, and the blue. The blue was the last one we made, so it's a little sticky still, but this orange turned it like it feels just like real play. Do you guys like it? Did you like that activity? Yes. Yeah. So now they're gonna play. <laughs> it is just after three. I'm starting to hit a wall. So I think I'm either going to I think I'm gonna have a nice coffee. And fold another load of laundry. Oh my gosh. Kids are exhausting. I think the fact that I had to go to the store, which was good because I didn't need Get some fruit, so it all worked out well. But gonna let them play, make myself a coffee. I now have to reclean my kitchen because that's just great for me. Love that. Cool dude. You're not a cool dude. <laughs> Nolan. You is a cool dude. Okay, it is quarter to five. We just got back from a walk slash run with the dog. It looks like it's gonna rain, so we probably made pretty good timing. I am so tired though. I don't know that I had that in me. But the kids had fun. We've been trying to get out every single day, that's nice. And obviously they've been outside a lot today, but like going for a walk and running and moving our bodies. So that's what we did. I'm honestly tired. I'm so tired. I don't want to make dinner. Brad should be home in like 15 minutes. So I should probably start. And the dinner isn't going to take too long. It's just I'm so hungry right now. I wish it was done for me to eat. And then usually we just relax the rest of the day. We usually watch like a movie, TV. Today's Thursday. So we usually have our movie nights on Friday. And we finished watching all the Narnia movies. So I think we're going to try another, what's it called when there's like sequels? Like maybe Pirates or Harry Potter. We haven't decided yet, but it's always fun. It gives them something to look forward to on Friday nights. So, I was going to sit for a minute, and then once I have enough energy to go make dinner. Grace, are you tired? No. So they've been playing with Play-Doh when we got back. So they're eating around the Play-Doh. Brad's home. What's for dinner? Stir fry. No. Rice. It's on noodles. On noodles. Oh, it's so good. Queso, come eat. All right, it's been a while. Had a little bit of wine. Watched the show. I've been watching Very Cavalry. So good. Kids are. Read this and follow the path of arrows. This. Follow the path of. What does that say? Sophia, I want. I want to know. Paul is way. This is how they're dealing with quarantine. It's not working, so you have to follow the arrows. Ah! Oh, okay. Oh, I see the arrows. Okay. Oh, oh god, you guys said, I, I see it, okay. Oh. <laughs> it's the house! <laughs> and you need to have a secret password to get in here. Yeah, and you don't get to it. And this is the password! Tanner's stuck in the house. Oh, he went to go get his food. Okay, this is the password. I see. So now I just let my kids be kids. I'm gonna try to tidy up the rest of dinner. Oh, and get ready for bed. We so usually go to bed probably around nine. I, I'm not too strict with the bedtime. Um, because there's no point. But yeah. Probably gonna end it here because I feel like today's vlog was long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. 
think that's so funny. I didn't know they were doing that while I was watching my show, so that was cute. But I will see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys. Bye guys.